subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator, Tutorial and Preparatory Guide. Let's see, how you can start preparing for the exam. Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator, is provided by Microsoft. The exam SC300 measures the candidate's ability, to perform technical tasks such as executing an identity, management solution, implementing an authentication, and access management solution, achieving access management for apps, and planning, and performing an identity, governance strategy, etc. After successfully passing the SC300, the candidate will gain the role of Microsoft Certified, Identity, and Access Administrator Associate. Responsibilities of an Identity and Access Administrator Associate 1. The Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator plans, implements and conducts an organization's identity and access management systems, by using Azure Active Directory. 2. Also, they manage duties such as administering secure authentication, and authorization access to enterprise applications. The administrator provides seamless experiences and self-service management, abilities for all users. Adaptive access, and governance are core elements of the role. This role is also responsible for troubleshooting, monitoring, and reporting for the identity and access environment. 3. The identity and access administrator may be a single individual, or a member of a larger team. This role collaborates with many other roles in the organization to drive strategic identity projects to modernize, identity solutions, implement hybrid, identity solutions, and implement identity governance. Exam Details The Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator covers 40 to 60 questions, in multiple choice, and multi-response format. The candidate will get 120 minutes to complete the exam. Moreover, it is available in English, Japanese, Chinese, Korean languages, and they must score 70% to achieve this certification. Scheduling the exam 1. Pearson VUE In order to appear in the Microsoft exam the candidate has to schedule the exam, and make themselves register with Microsoft. The candidate can schedule their exam, with the Pearson VUE. 2. Certiport The candidate also schedules the exam, Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator with Certiport. Course Outline 1. Implement an Identity Management Solution, which comprises of 25-30% to weightage in exam. 2. Implement an Authentication and Access Management Solution, which comprises of 25-30% to weightage in exam. 3. Implement Access Management for Apps, which comprises of 10-15% to weightage in exam. 4. Plan and Implement an Identity Governance Strategy, which comprises of 25-30% to weightage in exam. Exam Retake Policy Microsoft allows 5 attempts per year for a specific exam. The exam retake policy for the exam, is as follows. 1. If a candidate is not able to clear the exam in the first attempt, the candidate must wait at least 24 hours before retaking the exam. 2. If a candidate does not clear the exam the second time, candidate must wait at least 14 days before retaking the exam a third time. 3. A 14-day waiting period is also there for the fourth and fifth subsequent exam retakes. Cancellation and Reschedule Policy Microsoft allows free cancelling of the exam within 24 hours, prior to your scheduled appointment. But if you fail to show up on your exam day, without rescheduling or cancelling your exam, Microsoft reserves all rights to forfeit your entire exam fee. Rescheduling and cancellation of your scheduled exams, can be done through the certification dashboard. Now, let's discuss about preparatory guide. 1. Microsoft Learning Platform Microsoft offers learning paths the candidate should visit, the official website of Microsoft. The candidate can find every possible information, on the official site. The candidate will find many learning paths and documentation for this. 2. Instructor-led training The exam training programs that Microsoft, provides itself are available on their website. The instructor-led training is an essential resource in order to prepare, for the exam. 3. Books and Guides The next step in the preparatory guide should be books, and study guides. The candidate needs to find those books, which are enriched with information. Candidates should study some books, and guides which will definitely help them to gather knowledge, about the particular exam. 4. Join a study group We are suggesting you, join some studies, where you can discuss the concepts with the people who have the same goal. This will lead the candidate, 
throughout their preparation. 5. Evaluate yourself with practice test. The most important step is to try your hands on the practice test. The practice tests are the one which ensures the candidate about their preparation. There are many practice tests available on the internet nowadays the candidate can choose whichever they want. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.